Hey guys, Billy Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. Today's video that we are doing is Emma and Mitchell's puppies. We get to show them off. They are just a few days over three weeks old. So Emma and Mitchell have this beautiful litter of eight gorgeous mini to medium Australian Labradoodles. Mitchell's 30 pounds, Emma is 40. I am so excited to show them off to you guys. So let's go ahead and get them out and start with the first one. I'm gonna do my dark reds first, my red colors. And then at the end, I'm gonna change my camera a little for the white puppies. All right, so first puppy is Mr. Brown. So he is a gorgeous, dark red, abstract, wavy coated boy. So we've got white on our face, on our chin, on our chest, on our toes. So everybody got bathed and blow dried yesterday before I took their picture. So now it's time to show them off. And they are just scrumptious. He has wonderful eyelashes. So I know one of the things that I talk about with puppies with thick coats, once they get thicker, they've got those really thick, pretty eyelashes. He has that. So that's kind of one of the things that we look for in puppies to make sure that we have non-shedding. So both parents in this litter are non-shedding, but Mitchell only has one furnishing gene. So if you don't know what furnishing gene is, it is like the mustache, eyebrows, beard, the facial hair. The furnishing gene is what makes a doodle different from a golden retriever or lab. You know, those faces and stuff are slick. Um, so when they only have one, it means that they have it, but they can, you know, set the little bit of, they can set shedding off a little and, you know, not have a super thick coat. But ones like this, I think that we can be pretty safe to say he's gonna have a nice non shedding coat. So I constantly am like pulling as they get older. So we'll do that to each puppy to see. I don't see anything from him. All right, so this is Mr. Brown. Let's go put him back with mom and grab another one. Next is Mr. Green. He is one of our red tuxedos. So if you also look at his eyelashes, same. Super thick, perfect, perfect markings on this boy. Tuxedo, we've even got a spot back here and here. We got our mittens, we got our socks. We got our tip of the tail and we got our chest. So his coat looks highlighted, but he will darken. Just adorable. Perfect, perfect markings. He has a wavy coat. Are you shivering? I'm bringing him from outside to inside. It is a little chilly, but not too cold, but it's only like the second time we've been out. So you see these eyelashes, like I said, they're thick. We've done the pull test. I'm not getting any hair. So I think we'll be safe to say he will have a non-shedding coat too. They did so good for their bath yesterday. I was so proud of them and blow dry. No one fussed at all. I was super proud. Next is Mr. Black. He is also a tuxedo. We got super lucky with our markings in this litter. He's not super, super thick, but still has a nice blaze up the face we've even got a spot on the back of his head a little bit on our toes we got our back feet pretty good let's see tip of the tail 
Also really nice eyelashes. Can you see those? Also the pool test. Nothing. He also has a wavy coat. We got really, really lucky with this litter. Nice chest, chin, under the neck. What do you think, Mr. Black? He's really cute. Really cute boy. So Emma's done a pretty good job with him. She has not been the best cleaner, so they have been, you know, getting in their poo and stuff. It's like I'm counting down the days. Like, this was the second time now that they've been outside. So I'm counting down the days for them to be knowing where to use the bathroom and not be getting in it because it's been pretty, pretty messy, you know? We get some, some mamas that you never see poop. Like, it's clean, the puppies are perfect, then other ones, we're constantly doing the cleaning, and that's all right. Part of the job. All right, Mr. Black, tell him you'll see him later. Next is Miss Yellow. So she's a pretty dark tuxedo. So even though we've got our ones with highlighted that looks lighter, they probably will be the same color like as an adult you know, once they get like their first and second haircut, but she's pretty dark. So that's pretty cool. Cause a lot of times our tuxedos that have that Rufus jean has the highlighted marks. Beautiful blaze, chin, down the neck, chest, back feet, front feet, tip of the tail, little spot on the back of the head. So she also has a wavy coat. So all of our puppies so far have wavy coat um, and also black pigment. So their nose is black, which means their eyes will be like a darker color more than likely. Um, but you know, we, we have some that's fixing to come up. So these first four have the black noses and the next four actually have the brown noses that are gonna have lighter eyes. So I just, my preference, I love those. They just say kind of are more human to me. That's just kind of what, what I like. She also has those nice thick eyelashes, the pool test. I don't get anything from it. You are a pretty girl, Miss Yellow. Also, these first four puppies are thick. They, um, you know, they're, they're not on the smaller side. Our next two puppies we're going to get, um, are kind of on the, on the smaller frame size and you'll be able to kind of tell. All right, Ms. Yellow, let's go get your other two sisters. So next puppy is Miss Purple. So she is our first puppy that we're showing off that has a curly coat. So you can see these ripples. Can you see like it looks like she has beach waves in there? So at this age, that means that that's a curly coat. So she also has a brown nose. So can you see how her nose is lighter? Her eyes are lighter. You might not can see it because of the light in front of us but she is gorgeous. She has a smaller frame, so I do think she'll be on the smaller side. She also has thick eyelashes. Pull test, I don't get anything. Now, having a curly coat doesn't exactly mean that there's gonna be less shedding because that's in like the furnishing gene. It's not in the curl. Are you sleeping? So I hate when they shiver like this, but they did. They're coming from outside inside. So, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up. But gorgeous white markings. So she's an abstract, white on the nose, top of the head, a little bit on the snout, chin, chest, some on our toes. Not tip of the tail. What do you think, Miss Purple? <laughs> she 
She's like, let me go back to my siblings so I can get warm. All right, let's go get your other sister. Next puppy is Miss Pink Collar. So she also is small framed. She has a wavy coat. Look at these lashes. I don't know if you can see them, but they are long. They're long and thick. But she's got that brown nose, which means that they're gonna be those light eyes. Gorgeous wavy coat white blaze up the face now since her blaze is so thin as she grows right here will separate so we're going to call her an abstract so she's not exactly a tuxedo like she's a mild tuxedo but she won't be as an adult we've got white on the chin not any on the chest and some on our back feet not our tail pretty girl she is so sweet all right now I mean they're still really young so they still are at that innocent stage you know we can't tell temperament that kind of stuff yet but we love to handle them love it love it so with her eyelashes and the pull test, no hair. This is Miss Pink, and she has our last red base puppy. So our next two puppies that we're going to get are the party puppies, and they're both boys. <laughs> you can hear the puppies barking in there. And um, I'm gonna change the camera a little bit so it doesn't wash them out. So just so we can see detail on them. So let's go get the first one. All right, so this is Blue Boy. So again, he's got a brown nose, these dark red markings. Gorgeous. He has a wavy coat, really thick eyelashes. What do you think, mister? Stunning. So with really nice eyelashes that we can see, the pull test, no hair. <laughs> But this is Mr. Blue. Last but not least is Mr. Red. So he's got this dark red on the ears, eyes, like a perfect mask. Brown nose. He's going to have those light green eyes to amber color eyes. Some red markings in here. He has a curly coat. Nice long eyelashes. Pull test. Shows no hair. So I'm so glad to say I think all of these puppies in this litter are gonna have perfect hair. Um, she's only had one puppy and it was out of her first litter, I believe, I'll have to look, that was a party puppy and curly that had some thinner, you know, some, some thinner hair and just a touch of shedding, but not much. And then her last litter shouldn't have any like that. So I, I think that this litter is going to be clear too. But if it's anything, it's definitely mild. All right, 
right, Mr. Red. I'm going to try to get a little bit of videos of them in there, maybe with mom. And then, um, yeah, we'll see you in about a week or so with another update on them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. So I know this video, kind of seeing them first, we didn't get like the extra newborn and then throughout the first week and second week, this is the third week video, but they're gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing them together and with mom. And very soon, mom's gonna get a bath and come out with us and they're gonna start having to grow up and you know start the weaning process. That doesn't mean mom is gonna go home, but she definitely is going to start cutting back on giving them the milk, which is gonna have them entice more to eat food. They have been offered food the last day or two. They're doing decently well, but they're not cleaning it up. So as mom's milk gets offered to them less, the more they're gonna eat, which makes them more independent, which is nice. And then we'll start feeding them in the crates, which is the crate training kind of thing. So a lot of stuff that starts now, going outside, eating, crates, you know, just learning manners and different stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching. We have some puppies available, but it's gonna be a little hard to explain it on here. So what I'm gonna do is down in the description, there's a link that has available puppies for our, our Australian Labradoodles. Just go down there and click on it. It'll take you to my website. You are also welcome to call me or text me or email me if you have any questions, if you're interested in any of these puppies. So again, they're gonna be between 30 to 40 pounds. Most will be right in the middle, but we do have some of our larger ones that could hit the 40 mark, like mom. We have our two small girls that might kind of be on the 30 pound size like dad. So we never know. But when we've got different size parents, there's in that range and we just don't know yet. If they've got big features, we can kind of tell that, which helps us predict what their estimated weight could be. But thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your first time here or you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe link, but we'll see you next time. Bye.